Neon Dreams is a Canadian alternative pop duo all the way from Halifax, Nova Scotia. They've made a name on the other side of the world in South Africa, Cape Town, where they now reside at the moment. Now they're here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, ahead of two up-and-coming festival performances. And we're really excited to have them here in the studio with us. Vocalist Frank Cadillac and drummer guitarist Adrian Morris. Now, mihi nui kia koutou, and thank you very much for joining us on Te Otapatahi here at Whakata Māori. Welcome to Aotearoa. Hey, thank you so much for having us. Look, let, let's hark back to Neon Dreams, how it was established and, and how you guys met. Uh, wow, a while ago when we were like, like 15 years old, we, we uh, met each other just online. It's one of my, my old bands, like, uh, kind of broke up, so we, we got together and, and we, uh, we, we pretty much Found me on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you both come yeah. from musical backgrounds? Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up playing like piano and stuff, but it was like classical piano, and I I just like, I wasn't into it. It was like kind of one of those things that my parents like forced me into doing, and I was like, I want to play drums so bad. And it was like, I had a neighbor that played guitar, and I was like, that's so cool. How can I play with them? And then I discovered the drums and started playing drums. Nice. Yeah. Neon Dreams is an interesting name. Where, where did that come from? Uh, you know what? <laughs> we We made that name. Uh, just on kind of a whim. We were making new music, but yeah. we weren't quite a band yet. And yeah. we had a friend that was putting on a show, and he wanted us to play on it because he's seen some of our older bands. Uh, we've been through so many different yeah. bands together, playing in bands together since we were like 15. Mm. But we went and played this show, and we needed to come up with a name, and our guitar player at the time just said Neon Dreams. We were like, yeah, cool. We'll just, we'll just use it. Yeah, why not? He found us. He found us. <laughs> yeah. We're with it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Look, look, I heard Neon Dreams have also got their, they've created their own sound, right? Can you explain that? Oh, I call it like sunshine music. So sunshine like, music. It's, it's oh. like music for the soul. Like, you know, when you go outside and the sun touches your skin, it just feels good. I love that. Yeah. 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 And, and kind of like, so what's the alternative pop? That's the yeah, genre of that. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. But yeah, our little spin is just like we like to make things like uplifting, vibey. Yeah. You want to listen to it when nice. the sun's out, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, you've definitely, you know, come to New Zealand at the right time, summertime, summer vibes, yeah. bringing that flavor with you. Um, Adrian, as an indigenous Canadian yourself, Whereabouts are your people from, and, and can you talk to us about, you know, how it's been on on yourself growing up, and how it's influenced yourself as a musician? Yeah, so I, I'm Algonquin, which kind of uh, I'm Canadian Indigenous, but Algonquin people kind of uh, reside like Ontario, Quebec, uh, like Upper New York State, Upper, you know, with, like there was no borders before colonization. Sure. We call it Turtle Island. Turtle Island. Island. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, I'm Algonquin. Um, growing up, though, I didn't have very much of the language, the traditions, the culture. Um, and I don't know if you guys have heard much of residential schooling mm -hmm. over here. Absolutely. My grandmother uh, was a residential school survivor. She passed away when my mom was re really young. She was a teenager when she passed away. But because she wasn't allowed to speak her language, practice mm -hmm. her traditions, uh, anything like that, a lot of that didn't get handed down. And uh, there's a lot of people like myself uh, in Canada that come from residential school survivors or come from families that were every every family that's indigenous in canada was affected by residential school yeah. so um there's a lot of people like myself that don't have the language don't have traditions mm. or didn't even grow up around it for example like my family grew up uh, off a reserve and reserve land is uh, where a lot of first nations people stay in canada um, and those communities are very rich in traditions mm. and languages and um more so than if you say off reserve but we all we all have difficulties reconnecting with or traditions and languages sure. and stuff, but I completely was not around it growing up. But now through music, I've been able to reconnect with a lot of nice. people. Nice. Yeah. Are you seeing or involved in efforts to reclaim the language? Or? Absolutely. We uh, we do a lot of things. Um, for example, there's Truth and Reconciliation Day in Canada now, which is about um, you know it's the search for reconciliation um, for residential schooling, and we take part in that yearly by performing, and we like to incorporate. Uh, a lot of dancing, nice. um, traditional dancing in our performances or having indigenous musicians involved uh, and the language gets involved that way for sure. Nice. Yeah. Frank, look, you've got a couple of uh, festivals coming up. Yeah. How, how has the experience in Aotearoa been like so far and, and, and how are you looking forward to the, the upcoming gigs? Um, always, we're always excited about the shows. Like, I, I can't wait to experience like, just the energy from the crowds here because just coming to New Zealand, like, it's so beautiful. Like, like, I just, the people too at the same time are just so, like, just beautiful too. 
Yeah. Well, look, yeah. we appreciate having yeah. you here on All Third One. We can't wait to see yeah. you guys perform uh, for our people. Yeah. And we're about to hear your hit song shortly. But um, look, thank you very much for joining us in studio. Yeah. Hey, really you. appreciate How it. How do I say thank you and Mori? La mihi. La mihi. La mihi. Te <laughs> Thank you. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Thank you very much.